Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel here. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, something about, uh, something practical about hyperparameter optimization. This is in continuation to the other hyperparameter optimization video I, I made earlier. Please check that out for me. Um, and now let's, let's, I'm going to show you uh, how to do it practically in Python. Okay, this is, uh, I'm, I'm doing this in Google Colab. This is a very good uh, notebook and it and I always use it um, so I have this data set called ionosphere um, it's a pretty simple data set um, I've taken it from the UCM machine learning repository um, uh, this is how the data set looks these are all the features uh, it's just the radar data and uh, this is the target yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, all right, let's get started. So for hyperparameter optimization, we'll actually be learning this topic in three parts. So first, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to run the model without any tuning. Um, it's just a plain old simple model. Then we would actually run it by manually inputting the hyperparameters. Um, we'll manually tune them. And then the third, um, we will uh, use the automated methods uh, like grid, grid search method, random search method to uh, tune the parameters automatically. All right, let's get started then. Okay, so as we all see, um, the first thing is I'll run the model uh, without any tuning. I, I'll, I'll use the support vector machine uh, algorithm here um, with repeated stratified cross-validation method. Okay, the yeah, good cross validation is just uh, you know just because you know we're double checking our uh, results there you know just because something doesn't go wrong. Um, okay, so first um, I just taken the data set, loaded load that in, then I'll um, as we all do in machine learning, I'll split the data set into two: one is features and one is target, mm -hmm. and then. Just import that. We will then we will import the cross validation score and repeated stratified k fold. Um, this is for our accuracy uh, precision score. Um, this is for the cross validation. Um, then this is the support vector algorithm, the numpy, the, the mean and standard deviation. Then what we do here is we first define the model here, okay? I just define the model as we do it in any machine learning algorithm. Then I define the cross-validation technique. And here what we do here is uh, in this cross-validation technique, let me show you something here. Okay. Look. This is a repeated stratified k-fold gloss validator. Um, it repeats the stratified k-fold n number of times with different randomization in each repetition. So if you don't know about this, then this is what it is. What it will do is it will um, split the data into n number of parts. For example, here it's split into five parts. Um, it could be any, uh, whatever you want, but it will split uh, the data and then it will randomly take the parts, train them, get the output, put them back in again, and it's just like you know, uh, probability thing. So it takes some, trains them, puts them back in, randomly takes some other parts, and then trains them again. So yeah, that's how what it does. So this actually gives you more accurate answers there. All right. So the next thing is the model evaluation. Um, so here, what I've done is okay. Just before that, uh, so the end splits. I want to split the data into ten parts. Then I want to repeat that two, uh, three times. So I want to take something from the ten parts, train them, put them back in, take out, take the, so take the output, put them back in to so do that three times. Okay. And this random state state is just a, you know, it's just controls the generation of random states for each repetition. So it's just randomizes the data. All right. Okay. And now we have actually defined our technique. It's time to implement it. Okay. So for implementation, as I told you before, we have already taken in the cross validation score function uh, class here. 
um, then all right so I just put that in so for the cross validation score let me also show you this Okay. Yeah. So, so there's the first thing. The par these are the parameters. Um, this is the object that we use to fit in the data. So mostly, the model which you're using. Okay, that's what we used here. Okay, then uh, the model is the this the diff. So uh, this thing has to know which model you're using for it to validate or give you an you know answers by precision um, it because it varies from model to model um this are these this is just your uh, the split things uh, this is the features and the target variable and the scoring the scoring is a it's it's a function that that should just return a single value it's, it's just similar to the cross validate function there <clears throat> and these are all the other things. This is the end jobs, which I mentioned earlier in the other video. This actually uses all the cores on your system, which makes it, which makes the algorithm do parallel processing and makes this thing go faster. <clears throat> all right, and yeah, this is just, uh, we've printed out the accuracy. And we, yeah, we have taken all the mean scores of here, right? So as I told you before, the stratification does it, you know, this thing three times. It runs this three times. We get three scores here and we take the mean of those scores. Okay. So here we have accuracy is 93 percentage, almost 94. And this is your score. Pretty good score, but still we would like to improve it, right? And as we as I say earlier, um, we actually use hyperparameter optimization to tune our model. So now we'll tune it manually. So, so just looking at the API of the uh, support vector machine, we uh, select the parameters that we would like to tune. And this is actually, I have discussed this in the earlier video about hyperparameter optimization, you know, which parameters to take, where to look up, look about that. Okay. Um, here actually we'll tune three parameters there. One is the C, that's regularization parameter, then the type of kernels, and degree and gamma, gamma values. Uh, so now in order to manually tune the parameters, we will de actually need to give the range of the parameters, right? We actually want the machine to know that, you know, hey buddy, you, you look from here, from point A to point B. That's where I want you to look, okay? I don't want you to look everywhere. Okay, okay. So, um, so this is basically a trial and error. There's no specific method here. Okay. Uh, whoops. This is sorry. Okay. Yeah. So for that, uh, I actually used the scikit optimize kit there. Um, this is how you can install. You can just write pip install and whatever you would like to install on your system. Mine is already installed. Okay. All right, so um, one thing to know about hyperparameters is, is that uh, you have to give this, uh, you have to write, so, okay, you have to give the algorithm a dictionary uh, where you put in all the range of whatever parameters you're using. In these, you know, for example, if, you, you know, we're using three parameters here, right? This is C, so we want, some it to be written in there that you know c ranges from this to this then you know kernel ranges from this to this and blah 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 okay so here what i've done here is just uh, made a dictionary here um then i have appended all the ranges in here okay so, so this is the c parameter i have uh, so yeah this is what the scikit optimize kit uh, is for um SKO, so I have imported it. Then, so yeah, you can make the range, you can write the ranges in here, and you can also specify that if they're real categorical integer, you know, it's a pretty good thing. And you can also give what it's it, what is its name, and uh, you, you know, what you want it to be uniform log values or normal, yeah. So, yeah, this is this is the C parameter. 
it I have ranged it from 1e minus 6 to 100 just the log values um, then this um, kernel is actually a categorical it just specifies which kernel you want like we do want it to be this you know support vector machine is something like do you want it to be linear polynomial rbf sigmoid function whichever function you want to use there and uh, yeah the degree uh, it's it's the degree which you want to put in there we put in one to five so for you know giving the ranges out here there's no specific thing you know as you know which range to give it's it's just by trial and error you know okay and uh, yeah so this is the gamma function so yeah this, i have defined the search space for the hyperparameters okay now uh, yeah this is just how it looks um, okay and uh, so yeah now uh, what i've done here is i've just made uh, another function uh, to evaluate the given configuration so so this is just a the evaluate model functions where i take it where it takes in the parameters um first thing it does is takes the model in uh, you know set the parameters you know define the test harness and uh, which, which is uh, you know way which you're gonna cross validate it we're using the repeated stratified k fold method with the uh, 10 splits and three repeats repeats and uh, okay and this is the cross validation score from this so it goes one time you get one score it will go three times you got three scores you it'll take this estimate will take the mean of that and will return the you know minimizing score here that's why we're you know subtracting it from one okay and now to perform optimization i've taken the gp minimize function let me tell you what that is there you go so it's Bayesian optimization using Gaussian processes so this is basically another method for hyperparameter <coughs> hyperparameter optimization that is the base method okay So yeah, this actually gives me the accuracy of 95 percentage, and you also get um, so yeah. So wh whatever method you use this for the optimization, you have to just uh, write the method's name, the model, and then the search space, and bam, you get the answer. So yeah, this are uh, this is the accuracy of 95 percentage, and the parameters are yeah. This gives these are the three param four parameters which we you know. Uh, wanted so the C so the best thing value for C is the 26.3360 and uh, <clears throat> what's the next one it's the kernel kernel is the RBF then the degree is 3 and and the gamma function that the gamma function is 0 0.3269 that's is those are the best values so so if you were to run this again Okay, so if you were to run this model again and, you know, put all the specific values, you'll get this best accuracy here. Okay, this is how it works. This is, this is the Bayes method. Okay. Uh, uh, in the next video, we'll, start, we'll look at the grid search and the random search. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye now.